Yo, 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 we back again with another Gator Convos, man. You know we only keep the best on the show, man. Sure. Of course, y'all know my boy VZ Mob Entertainment. Yeah, sure. We got my boy Tilly in the house. Tilly, where them people can find you at on them social man, medias? Big dog, big dog Tilly um, on IG, Big Dog underscore BDF, um, right. Facebook, um, Dante Tilly, you know what I'm saying? I'll be... I don't really don't be on Twitter or none of that. Oh, yeah. right there. It's That's coming, right though. Thing. It's coming, though. We're we working on this music, everything coming into play. For um, so, yeah, but I see you just dropped a new video, man. No, the video ain't out yet. It was a oh, that snippet. was just a preview? It was just a little a snippet. snippet. I ain't even got the video yet. That was a little snippet. Anyone even mixed down. It just was trying to get it out there. For sure. Quick. I'll let them know you coming. It's coming. Yeah, I've been out the scene for like... Yeah, some change. For sure, you getting back at it. You know, I always got my own purposes of asking people to come on the show, man, and show some love, man. And you know, I like interesting people, man. Um, so I had learned from somebody that you had did about seven years, um, in the penitentiary, right? Yeah, yeah for sure. USP Lee. You want to uh, you want to help us understand how that came about? Uh, how I caught the case, or I caught the case, uh, but that was 12, like July, June, July 12. You know how you, uh, you know, I'm, I I live off sands. Like a lot of things, like when, you know, when you, that, that saying, if you rush, things won't go according to plan. Something's going to go wrong. For sure. Like I was in that type of situation where I, I, you know, I actually had a date. I was going to the crib to change the clothes. And somebody had, one of the guys was there and they grabbed my keys. We was in the same type of rental. So they grabbed my keys and left. And when I'm trying to leave, I can't find my keys. So I had to end up getting in the truck with bro and them and they wanted to go to Hooters or some shit. I ain't, sure. I wasn't feeling the Hooters. I ain't had, I just, I wasn't feeling being somewhere I know I ain't supposed to be or just being somewhere I didn't want to be. And when we got to Hooters, you know, we, 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 you know, we had three firearms in the car. Black Escalade truck, 26s, we in Oak Brook. Like, I know I was out of place. I know mm -hmm. we all was out of place. Mm -hmm. It just didn't feel right. And, you know, uh, something didn't feel right. I couldn't eat the chicken. I ordered a burger or something and tried to eat that too. And I'm like, I can't eat for some reason. And I ended up having that sick feeling that I had back in 09 when I got set up by a, a guy with DEA in front of Malcolm X College. I got caught mm -hmm. like a, a quarter, uh, quarter brick of cocaine at the time. So... I had that feeling again. I just knew that, like, damn, something ain't right. Mm -hmm. And when I came out the store, you know, I was smoking a little blunt, and I just, like, felt like, you know, I felt that feeling like I was being yeah. watched. So I'm like, I got an extra <clears throat> pair of eyes on me. And I just told them, let's ride. We end up, as soon as we pulled out the lot, you know, you look left and right, no cars in sight. We turn. Mm -hmm. As soon as we turn, all, you, all I heard, whoop, that's all we heard. Like, some black guys with regular clothes hopped out. We... Asked them, we, we got license insurance, we ain't smoking or none of that in the car. We asked them, why y'all pull us over? They, no, no reason, random stop. Woo, 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 run all our names. One person had an alias. And I'm telling them, don't use that alias. Mm -hmm. It ain't gonna work out. Mm -hmm. It is. They, they just let me go, Lord. They just let me go the other day. I'm, it ain't gonna work. <laughs> so they run the names, come back. I'm like, sir, everybody, because, you know, I'm used to this type of shit. Mm -hmm. Everybody in the car is not used to this type of shit. So, mm -hmm. you know, they got their mouth closed and... I had to take control of the situation. For sure. He's like, I say, sir, everybody name came back clear. Yeah, he, everybody except this guy. Where you say name is again? And <laughs> my homie get the line and uh -huh. they, they step out the car for uh, him. Exactly. He's looking at us like, what's it doing? Go ahead. Step uh -huh. out. Step out. We hit the locks. Bam. They take him back to the car. They come back to the car. Oh yeah, what did you what did you say that guy's name was? Guy, we didn't say what his name is. Mm -hmm. He told you his name was D. That's his name. I say, sir, look, you say we all clear. If he playing with his name, keep his ass. You know uh -huh. what I'm saying? Keep him. You said we all clear. So we got to go. He was shocked at how I took control Total of the situation right there. And so told. he didn't even know the answer to give me. Mm -hmm. So the man got them in the car. You give talking me, about? Yeah, shot. He, yeah. Give me one second. I got to talk to her. He talk to her. They talk. Hey, uh, we want to run an open air. We want to get the dogs and run an open air sniff because my partner's mayor, mayor, want to come in front. I'm like, sir. That's bullshit, man. We've been pulled over for 10 minutes. Them, these guys done smoked three, four cigarettes already. Now mm -hmm. you talking about you smell weed? Come mm -hmm. on, man. So, boy, I, get your white shirt, man. We, we, right. we don't go about this the right way. We uh -huh. ain't just getting out no car. I ain't doing no open air sniff, none of that. So, long story short, 
It go back to the car. I'm telling the driver, get out of there. Get out of there, for sure. What you think the white shirt going to do when he <laughs> yeah, come? Right. Yeah. Outside with his people, people for yeah, sure. He's never going to let us look, dog, you yeah. him in front of his him. We're going to get out this car one way or another. For so sure. Go on, take off. So the driver, he didn't want to. He, he didn't want to go Take unless up. the passenger tell him to go who truck it was. Mm-hmm. The passenger on the passenger side looking like Gucci man. He got two hundred thousand dollars worth of jewelry on. Mm-hmm. Uh, AP, prayer, uh, type of shit. Uh, pinky rings, all types. They want to know who the fuck we is in this truck mm-hmm. in the suburb. So I'm telling them, I'm counting that light that say out west. You know, what I'm, saying? I'm timing that. Time. I'm telling them, I told them to take out like three different times. They didn't take off. So the the passenger, I'm I'm like, but now the lady got a hand on a um, mirror, so you, you know if you pull off with the officer arm on the mirror, you are gonna get all type of charges that you don't even know about. Mm-hmm. So I'm like, listen, when that lady take her arm off that window this time, man, get out of there. For <laughs> sure. I'm telling you, let's ride, and we could just I'm gonna take the pipes, I'm gonna put them in a the bag, throw them out on the shoulder, and I'm gonna come back and get them in my car. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. No, I had that. That was the plan. Yeah, that was the plan. I came up with it just like that. So the driver finally said, get out of there. We lack truck. We doing 100 in the gate. We get out of there. We gone. I'm looking in the back to see if anybody else come. Anything. Mm-hmm. They never got on us. And my homie's still in the police car with yeah, them. Yeah. They never got on us. We gone. We gone. Shoulder, shoulder. Whoa, whoa, we out of there. Um, hey, give, give me your pipe. Give me your pipe. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Wipe them bitches down. Put them in a the bag. The Hooters bag at that. So he got to. It won't be hard to spot yeah, them. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Put them in the bag. Pull off to the shoulder and toss these bitches out while they can't see. He, don't throw my gun. Don't throw my gun. Like, yeah. oh, y'all fucking yeah, crazy, yeah, we man. They used to like, what about it? Don't the throw time, my little pipe. All right, the time, I'm like, no, we got a million of these motherfuckers. Yeah. Shit. Fuck these guns. Uh-huh. I put them right, get them in my car. He never pulled off to the shoulder. I wasn't finna throw them out, like, flat out in the middle of the e yeah. like, For sure. So... We got two cribs out there at LaGrange. One, they like miles away from each other. I'm like, okay, if we go into the crib, don't go to the crib we just came from. Go to the other one. You know what I'm saying? Because we always got to ride past one state Uh trooper that go to the crib. They going to hit the radio. And it's out of the station. The driver like, man, no, they go, we almost here. We get off. Get to the crib. Now, I'm just like got my head down and. I hear him in my, in my mind, he like, I told you that shit gonna happen like that. Ain't, I'll do too good for that shit to happen to me. Like, in the back of my mind, I'm like, don't count your chickens before they hatch. We ain't made it to the crib yet. So as soon as I say that saying in my mind, all you see is, hey, back on. it's a car coming from the side. They was already sitting at the crib waiting on us. Uh, the crib yeah, was under surveillance two hours uh, before, right. before anything. Right. You know what I'm saying? So I'm thinking fast again. You know what I'm saying? Um, I got the garage key. Come on, look, I got the pipes. Pull to the back. I'm going to roll up under the garage. Let me out. I'm a, they going to chase y'all. I'm going to roll up under the garage with the pipes. They don't know which mm-hmm. we right. came out of. The driver went past where I told him, let me out. Let me out. Let me out. He went past where he told me. Let, exactly. The drop spot. Where you can just yeah, so now a cop block us off in the front, in and back. Everybody like this in that bitch. With them, right, ready right. to go to jail. Ready to go to jail. Out of the 40 cases I caught, I'm I'm going to make them earn their check. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? I'm going you know, to chase yeah, me yeah. Death, whatever. I'm going to res- resist the rest. You, you know got to. So I, you know, being me, trying to protect everybody in the car, I know I'm out on bond. I'm out on two bonds. So I know I'm going to take my pipe. So in reality, I'm like, if it come down to it, I might just take the weight for everything. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Ain't no sense of letting them take us out. I know I'm going to sit down mm-hmm. and take this weight for my pipe alone. So I grabbed a bag, put it up under my arms, so they wouldn't see the bag. And I jumped out that bitch running. But not knowing, we stayed next to judges, off-duty agents, no, off-duty type police of shit. Motherfuckers eat coming out their crib. Oh, Freeze, Willow Spring, off-duty. Oh, <laughs> we we got got get the fuck out of the I ran through the woods. I, yeah. been, I stashed the pipes in the, in, the, um, in, the, um, in the bushes. As I'm stashing in the bushes, a guy coming out his house of who bushes it is. Yeah. You know? Freeze! I'm like, oh my God! Yeah, I'm running. Go. Yeah. No, I was yeah, freeze! Bro. I'm still running. Then got to the point they got on their knees, like and to I'm gonna shoot. Up, and up. I think I'm black. I'm in the woods. Yeah. I got three firearms. Yeah. I gave up. Let them take me. I in ain't no never luck. heard no shit like that before. That's some real movie oh, shit. Man, about going cars. down. It was Willow Springs Justice and DA. You know what I'm saying? Oh my God! On a nigga ass, man. Time. So we was, we was held and locked up for a little minute. Now we all in the back cell, 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 cell by cell. We hear each other talking and everything. Big dog got all the bread. He going to come get everybody. But I'm not going to get no bond because mm-hmm. I'm out too. I know I'm going to sit down. But my my brother, Ock, and my homie, Foel, 
they got so much love for me. They like, man, hell no, shorty, we ain't finna let you go down like that. I go in that bitch, tell them two mans. And Oxide, mm -hmm. tell them one man before we let you go down, because I was, they used yeah, to be for sure. gone. I mm -hmm. wasn't never home that long. <clears throat> I kept going back to back to back. Every year I was in trouble since I was 13 and all the way up to 26 when I went to the feds for them seven years. So You went to the feds first? No. No, just saying leading I'm up saying to. Leading, uh, I juvenile county state feds. Uh -huh. I mean, he state went through, through everything. Through, you know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. Right, so you've been to the feds before? No, I got a fed case before, but I beat it. Oh, you beat it's it. At that time, but. You got to think about it. The, the feds had already ran in like three, four cribs around 200,000 here, Mac 90 there. Uh -huh. Like everybody know it was heat on the family. You know what I'm saying? And so, bro was telling me to stay away from this motherfucker, uh -huh. but this motherfucker was dealing with you. You know what I mean? Y'all doing business. You trying to put all the business on pause. I got kids to feed. Like, if we, if we gonna go, we gonna, we gonna go, we gonna go together. You know what I'm saying? Sure. That's how it gonna go. Like, I'm not gonna go in broke while everybody else going in with some paper. So, exactly. me in the back of my mind, I always knew I was going there. You know what I'm saying? Because my grandma, when she first met my, my homie, she seen me pull up shiny car, great rims, great oh, wow. cars. Iced out. She, if you don't stay away from that man, you gonna hmm. find yourself in jail for a long time. Damn, granny's boy, and you know, know they tell. Damn, why Granny had to say that? Because yeah. you know, know Granny said. Granny's been here yeah. several times. They see it. You know what? Shit, oh. like how we, like I tell my son all the time. Like I see shit. The steps you taking, I see where you finna land. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So when my grandma say stuff like that, I know it. I know what to look for. For sure. One day it's gonna come. That's Granny. She the know. Day it. when it did come, that night when it when they, cause I end up. Doing my time, I had to do. I had a year. I was on parole. They didn't give me no bond because I'm on parole, which means that year I had. They had to cut it in half and give me six months. So as I'm in NRC doing the six months, I get down to like five months, and two weeks. That motherfucker home. come closer too, bro. This, I don't want you to be low oh, on now. Okay, I'm doing like five months to. I'm two weeks from coming home and bonding out, and I caught like assault on the police. Like he said some weird shit, like like. Y'all shut the fuck up from here on out. We're going to put you in the bullpen for the rest of the night. Mm -hmm. Me, I'm like, I go in the bullpen mm -hmm. for the rest of the night. Yeah. At least yeah. I'm going to be seeing some women yeah, going past yeah, this. Yeah. Hey, who said that? You know, I'm about to own up to my shit. You know what I'm saying? I'm at the end of the line. So before I even get a chance to own up to my shit, the officer, like, he, he Great. said that and yeah. grabbed me. My natural reflex, yeah. I smacked him and you, pushed him up off because yeah. I don't really know who the fuck just did right. that to me. <laughs> now I seen it was awesome. I'm holding him. He holding me. But he trying to throw me down in front of everybody. Got it, yeah. You ain't so finna. I'm not, I get down on the ground. You're not finna throw me down. Yeah, you ain't finna. Same size as me. You're not finna just handle get, me. They get to jumping on my back. Who did he swing on? He swing on no motherfucker. Check the camera. They check the camera. Said I was aggressive. Gave me my six months back that they took. From they get me. say you the aggressor off him yanking yeah, you. Yeah, they say they say I was the aggressor. Typical shit they'll so, do. I never really heard nobody getting their time back that they took from me. Like, when they cut your year and a half and make you do six months, they gave me the six months back and made me do a whole another six months. So exactly. So, you did your year. in NRC where you're only supposed to do two to three weeks. It's, you know exactly. It's like being in the bathroom state for a year. Yeah. It's like being in the bathroom for a year and getting served trays this big. For a whole you know year. Saying? But me being me, I adapt. That's yeah, for I sure. I bonded out, fought my case for another year, and my lawyer... I'm telling my lawyer because I'm facing 9 to 45. I'm saying, give me six years and I'm gone. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Just give me six. Get this shit dropped down and give me six. He, hell, fuck no. Nah, you're not going to take Steven Weinberg. He beat four cases for me. My mom. At that Steve. time, he probably was two. Two up. He, you're not going to take this case. We're, we, we're going to beat this. You know, I'm like, Steve, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I got caught with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm ready to go sit down. Hey, nah, they had no fucking business uh, pulling y'all over. Or whatever. No, that was the first case. That was the first case that I beat with Steve at the same. This this case, Steve left me dry. Matter of fact, Steve left me dry when he went to the feds. No, exactly. Yeah, he left me dry. I gave him a ten thousand dollar bond slip to take. He, the case is twenty thousand. I'm like Steve. That's to fight the case. I'm not fighting the feds. I'm finna go sit down. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? They caught me with the pipes. But at that time, I bonded out. I'm out for a little minute because I had got confused when I beat the case. But I bonded out for a minute for the second case. And they, and they, I was giving words that they was asking questions about me in there from guys that was in there mm -hmm. that was on uh, the case that was related. So mm -hmm. I kind of got a heads up that they going to come get me now because everybody else gone. I'm the only one left. Exactly. And that night we just started part Like when I got that word, I just started partying and like going out <laughs> every weekend. We went to Billboard Live mm -hmm. that night. I think Jim Jones had it. We was in VIP mm -hmm. with Jim Jones. Just rotating. Then we went to Velvet Room for Chevy birthday that night. 
And that night I had a lot of shit in the crib and I just had that feeling again from when I got set up. Mm-hmm. Like, sure they might be coming tonight. So oh, yeah, damn. not to uh cut you off, but uh out of all them experiences you went through in jail, right? Which was the most uh which was the hardest, like Uh, I want to say two things. Say, which was the hardest and which was like the most feasible for you? Feasible? Like the stinks like, in like jail? The, like I would easiest. say the most hardest was when I was out of state locked up for a couple of years because my family gave up on me out of state and I really didn't have, an, I was in the state by myself and in the jail by myself. Mm-hmm. I would say that was the hardest bid that I did because, you know, I only had this one female to hold me down. If she broke bad on me, I was alone. Mm-hmm. You know? That's what every nigga fear to be doing. Like, we don't, we don't, mm-hmm. we, don't we sign up for what we sign up for. Right. So we not really tripping about what we already knew lies ahead of mm-hmm. us. What we, what we trip about is being forgotten about. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? We did so much for so many people. The least you can do is check on me, see if I'm cool. Mm-hmm. If I'm a boss out there, I'm going to be a boss in here too. I don't mm-hmm. need you to. Send me no money, none of that shit. I need to show show me your caring and concern. Exactly. So what I would do if the shoe was on the other foot. Facts, mm-hmm. facts. So that was my hardest bid, but the most feasible one, the one I learned a lot from, mm-hmm. the final one, and that was, was these six years and nine months. That's the longest I ever did, and then it was in a different dimension. It was like when I say a dimension, I mean just that. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like the USP is way different from. These niggas that be going to the feds be on FaceTime. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. What's shit. USP? What's that USP, mean? United, United States. States Penitentiary. <clears throat> it's really like how you see on the movies and all that shit. Like it go down like that. Like I don't want like five people died since I've been there. Like, getting stabbed mm-hmm. up, all type of shit. Motherfuckers smoke K two, stabbed they sell it up a hundred times. Like well, I done been. You in say stabbed they self? They sell it up. Oh, they sell it up. Times. Like mm-hmm. I don't know me personally. Growing up the way I grew up. You know, I, I I seen a lot of gun violence, you know what I'm saying? But knife, I seen yeah. a motherfucker get stabbed a hundred mm-hmm. times with a knife. That's it's different. different. It's going to fuck it's you different. up. It's different. You know what I'm saying? And that's USP, different. it's three stabbings every day, man. Like, after three stabbings, that's when they lock you down. The Crips might stab one of the Crips today. The mm-hmm. Bloods might stab one of the Bloods today. The Whites might stab one oh, of the Oh, you was in another state, another yeah, state. Yeah, state. Virginia. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Lee yeah, yeah. County. Like, the Camps, the Lows, the FCI, the Mediums. They not like the USP. Mm-hmm. If you fuck yeah. up in any of those places, you coming to where mm-hmm. I was at. Well, mm-hmm. USP. But I went straight there because my points point were so high. Yeah. My shit was. T- he know about the point system. If yeah. you need like twenty three or something. I hear twenty nine. So like where you get into it in jail and with the yeah. officers and, and shit just, like that. And then if you point, younger, the younger points, too. It it, it, co- it it counts about your your criminal history on the outside, outside. too mm-hmm. and the inside too though. Mm-hmm. See, I got assault on the police on the inside and on the outside. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Then my background got a lot of violence before I ever even called a drug case. I called like 10 violent cases. So mm-hmm. I'm automatically USP material. material. So I came in with 38 points. You need like 23 yeah, yeah. to get to a low or medium. And you only get like a point and a half or two points That's every year. Yeah, yeah. So by the time I get the points down, so, I'll be going home. Anyway, so you stayed in the I had to make a knife my first night there, though. I seen somebody get stabbed my first day. Soon as I came in, so. I always tell a motherfucker I gotta be back to a wall. Like I will put this pipe in your lifestyle, but that knife, mm, diff- I know that shit just off watching it on the movies is so gruesome to me, Joe. Y'all yeah. ever had like shanks and shit though? Like, man, I'm talking you talking about shanks. Yeah, you shanks. Just swords. People got Jason knives, motherfucking Michael Myers. You got Mexicans. They, they pulling the shit from up under here. You don't know where they got it from. They coming out their ass with a knife this long. Hey. <laughs> they ain't chasing you around. All that tough shit niggas yeah, be talking yeah. about and doing push ups all day. Yeah, yeah. Race ride go down. Yes, sir. That's when it's really time to show you. Go guts, separate you know the boys for the bitch. Damn, that man, shit I be watching on the movies, bro. That mm-hmm. race, that race. Not 60 days in and shit. Mm-hmm. I be watching all that shit, but like, man, yeah, that, that knife shit, bro, shit is tough. just. The, the race shit is what. You will only realize what's really going on in the world is when you go to a USP and mm-hmm. you will see that the race shit is it's real. real. It's, it's real. Do they still draw off like well, them games though, too. or just only racing them joints? Like games. Right. All the games come together. We all together. It's yeah, a right. coalition. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So which means everybody together. Right. Mm-hmm. The Crips and the Bloods even got a, a coalition with the Vice Lords and the GDs mm-hmm. and shit like that. Mm-hmm. We all together when it comes when to in the race. Because yeah. when a white touch a black or or a black touch a Mexican. 
or any, any type of any mix, mix yeah. it's gonna be it's gonna tan be and white against black. Mm-hmm. Everybody's gonna come together against us. Yeah. So, Wait, you said tan and white against, against black? Yeah. yeah. So maybe that's where this Mexican hate thing came from. You know, they yeah. always for real, man. Like I never knew this, that was a like, thing. And I thought they always went with no, the blacks. You got Serenios, mm-hmm. MS thirteen, two man. MBs. You got the Aryan brothers. They got Tango blasts and all them niggas all together. Them gonna come together when they Damn. work out together. And do it. No other than the Southerners on like Let it go down It's gonna be That's why When you go to USP You wake up And you realize that It's bigger than what We thought it was mm-hmm. Like you're gonna be Standing side by side With some niggas that you shot Or some niggas that shot you Your sure. ops or whatever And they gonna sure. have to be Your brother at that time At that time The you enemy know. is down You know what I'm saying yeah. They all got knives Some of y'all scared ass <laughs> Ain't got no knives It's only a chosen few That's willing to gonna Sacrifice and make that sacrifice For real feel like we do. We getting. You get caught with that knife. And then, okay, that time. I'm just gonna ask. That's for the same for sure. I did my time like I got sixty. Everybody that I did time, we got life. You know what I'm saying? So I do my time like I got you life like, just yo. to blend in. Yo. I got two knives on me every day. You know yo. what I'm saying? See now, that's the fucked up part for me right there. And I ask everybody that they'll put a motherfucker that ain't got life in jail or in the cell. However, that shit going mm-hmm. a day with a motherfucker. Yeah. They put that shit. I seen in Stateville back in 06, 08. They put a motherfucker that was finna go home in the cell with a guy who was trying to give back natural life. He came from when all the guys from Tim's came to the Oh, I remember that. And the shorty was just like, Yeah, that's why I'm finna get out. I'm finna go get some pussy. I'm finna, woo, y'all ass still finna be in here. The old head got so much law work around the cell. He trying to get home. Me, man, y'all get this young guy up out of here, man. I'm gonna kill him. Y'all don't get him up out of here. So they thought he was the, the, the CO telling man, you gonna kill him, kill his ass on the next shift. I'm finna go home. Mm-hmm. So the shift changed. Shift changed. They go around, do count. They talking about move, move. The dude get up like, hey, his ass ain't moving. He dead. I told him to get his ass out of here two hours ago. Damn. He was in that purple. They brought him out, body bag, on the stretcher, take pictures of the uh, cell, mm-hmm. take that bitch off. And, mm-hmm. Yeah, it's like that, though. That's you how I go. You, you get put in, though. That's why people don't understand. Certain jail, certain situations, you're not guaranteed to come back home. Mm-hmm. You got to go in that bitch and catch the message. God okay. sit you down right here because... You weren't playing right in the game. You need a coach. You ain't playing right in the game. You don't take you out and sit you down for a minute until you get your game right and put you back in it. For sure. That's why people go to jail repeatedly until we get out of that fucking up stage. The fucking up stage is because we not playing right as as players. You know what I'm saying? We not letting the coach be the coach. We want to be the coach and the player. For so sure That's how that shit go I always caught the message that's why Man I swear to God I'm gonna definitely Have to get you back on here Man y'all got Y'all got a lot of Information man But I wanna um, I wanna talk to you About some music shit now man Cause I feel like I'm in jail right now mm-hmm. <laughs> 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 This shit deep yeah, it's just, And it's shit like deep. This shit like it Black, black to the directors music. need to Get a hold of niggas Like y'all this To just serious, you know boy. Like paint this picture paint Cause we pictures. see it on the movies But it's like I don't know, this shit feels so raw to me right now, just hearing that shit. Mm-hmm. Like, you know, it's like we need to uh-huh. you want, you want see young. that shit in our yeah. face. Though, like, that's what the youth need to see. Man, like, this shit mold us to the man that we man. are today to leaders make leaders. For, for sure. Followers make even more followers. Goofy hmm. make even more goofies. Yeah, like, you sure. know what I'm saying? Like, people look at us and they, they, they respect us. They love us because we who we is. We ain't... We don't have to put on the image. We don't have to fit. We hit. We, no we is, we is. We, if you don't like it, fuck you. You know what I'm saying? We we here to reach one person, and yep. our job is done. As long as we, if we happen to reach more, that's a blessing. That's but exactly. All we gotta do is get through to one person. Exactly. And one person might get through to another motherfucker, and that's and how pass you start it down. change reaction. Yep. Show. Sure. Same way one person stand up, you save ten people lives. Same person way one person fold. It's a domino effect. It's gonna be ten motherfuckers that fall right behind Final, you. For you know sure. I fuck with that. So I fuck with that. Lead by example. For sure. But yeah, man, I just got out, y'all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, never going back, man. So, so yes, yeah, uh, we talking about the music. You gearing up to get ready and drop. Uh, what what made you want to do music? Because I'm assuming through all this uh, life you was living, you know, you was you was in the music as a young a youngster. Yeah, I just love the music. Music helped me through. See, I grew up in a foster home, you know what I'm saying, where I always felt like an outsider. I even got treated like an outsider. So 
you know, music just mm-hmm. helped me. It do. It helped me space out. Like it, it makes me feel like I'm not where I'm at. You know what I'm saying? Like when I was doing my time in certain different institutions, facilities, prisons, whatever. Don't give me some music. I'm not gonna be in no level six penitentiary, y'all. I'm there physically, but mentally, mm-hmm. I'm, I'm, I'm home still, and yeah. in the bro ham. Yeah, um, we on six. Yeah. This guy down the road, it's bad. Walking That's just like y'all. you know what I'm saying because y'all, <laughs> for, for y'all real. locked up the body. I ain't locked up my the body. man you know for sure, so, for sure. You strong minded man. You can make it do anything. You definitely, you know what I'm saying. Man, even with that being said, I was about to say something. You already let me know. I was about to say, man, you need to write a book, but uh-huh. um, for you sure. already, you already did that. Yeah, um, I just, I felt like when I was doing the seven years that. Even if I cho- chose to come out and do music, I needed something up under my belt. And first thing first, I wanted to get my education because mm-hmm. I, I just Facts. felt like it's so hard to get a, 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 a high school diploma. Mm-hmm. I can, you know, so you got your GED in there too? I got my too? GED in there. Yeah, for and sure. I, I felt like, I, you know, I made a speech one day and yeah, I'm I like, still ain't got that this is my I greatest my accomplishment enough. because I've been in jail a lot and I didn't. Every time I got close to taking the test, I either transferred or can't bond it out or whatever. Yeah. I didn't complete it. And at that time, I start, you know, my brother had, I got a call that my brother had passed away. And it's just like, you know, by me just growing up and I ain't got nothing but siblings. We don't really know our uncles, aunties, mothers, and fathers for real like that at all. So it touched home. And it was like, it made me start doing motivational speaking in there. You know what I'm saying? I'm speaking in front of like 120 people that ain't got no outdate. Mm -hmm. And I'm just telling them about real life experience that I went through and how I just always kept the hope and kept the faith no matter what. And, you know, one guy walked up to me in tears like, man, you gave me hope, homie. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I'm like, Joe, I just told myself that my greatest accomplishment was getting this GED. But you made me take that back because this GED... I got it, but it's up to me to use it once I come home. I could just have it and, and just have it and not use it. Mm-hmm. But I gave you hope, homie. That's what you're going to need to make it through this, this situation. And when you get out, you're going to have to hope going to help you survive. So that man made me feel like I saved his life. You know yeah, what I'm so, so it was a hit for sure. Yeah, you probably did, though. That's, that's, that's a great thing to have, that strong mind you got, man. So even with that, like, I like I would like to know what what's what was you listening to? Like like give me your top five uh artists. Like like uh, to this day, dead or alive. Dead like, or alive, you know Biggie and Pac gonna be number sure. one because you know, Yeah, they go you know, together, so that's one. You gotta put them with together. Listening to them. For sure. <clears throat> but uh Jeezy, you know they was he's, he's my uh, wow. I felt Jeezy on you, man. Yeah. I felt Jeezy on the you. The story, yeah. the story, the same way. I swear like, to God, I felt Jeezy on the way. Like, the whole team wrapped <laughs> you up. You the first yes, person uh, to come on here and say you, that. You here to tell the story? For sure. There's only a few that gonna still be here, here to, to tell the story. For sure. For sure. Nine times out of ten, that's gonna be one of the smartest ones. You know what I'm saying? And the one with the most heart. You know what I'm saying? So his just his 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 situation just stick stuck to me from day one. So who else? That's three. You know, um, um, I fuck with Meek Mills because his grind. He, mm-hmm. he 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 let us all know it was possible. My favorite five dead or alive. Nah, cause I fuck with a lot of new artists too. But mm-hmm. if we gonna go back to what uh, before yes, they even was born, yeah. And so you wanna, I mean, whoever, you it don't have matter. It. You gotta put one new motherfucker in. I ain't there. gotta put myself right. I ain't gotta be myself, right? A lot of people do it. I mean, it's your fault. Who would you listen to? You, you know, know you know, you know, you, you know, you listening to yourself, and that that's what it is. See, murder, bone thugs, mm-hmm. and all BG, like mm-hmm. real niggas. You know what I'm real saying? So niggas. I don't really know how to. Yeah. Pick between all them, yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? But that's just Wayne what it was, yeah. Man, that was on time. Them niggas that was, was the time. Lifetime. But I got to give, I gotta give credit what credit is due right now. I got to give it to Dirt right now because. For sure, for sure. He's the youth. He He's the generation. Yeah. He's the generation Jay Z. You know what I'm saying? He's doing what every nigga that's rapping in our city want to do. Want to do right now? So he sure he made it. Tilling your head to him or having him help bigging him up, then you trying to you tear know, him down. Him, yeah, so tear him down. I gotta get that to him. Like, for you know sure. Know what I'm Shout out, little so, bro. So for like, sure. Uh, Shout too, out, Smirk, y'all. If you could, bro, because first before I ask you that. And your music that you about to come with, you know what I'm saying? Because you seem like a real put together person. Um, 
what I was about to say. Damn, the y'all music. excuse this little weak ass brain of mine. That's all, That's all good. Bro. I was finna ask you who who would you want to do a feature with, but this one I'm so, oh, what's your message? What's your message in the music that you um you, you want to put out? Like like I your really, new the new you. What you what you want to do? I really want to be a guideline to to the trenches to to the youth, the older heads. Like it ain't no limit. No age limit to what I could teach the motherfucker. It ain't mm-hmm. no age limit to what a motherfucker could teach to me. I exactly. can learn something from and a guy that's that yeah, yeah. absolutely yeah, for you, too. You can learn it. something from a guy that's holding that sign on the side of the evil. He trying to, you know, he can I'm say anything shit. to you that should stick with you because no matter what situation he in, he at an age where you ain't at yet. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? You yeah. might not need You trying to get where he at, but you ain't trying to get where he at. And my right. daddy always <laughs> said every time I come to him, when I feel like he was doing some shit, like he, I ain't want to hear what he was saying. He always would tell me, simple as hell, and he used to blow me, but I'm older now. I get it. He'll say, keep living. Keep living. <laughs> That's what a lot simple. of people ain't doing. Just man. keep just living. Just keep living. You're going to understand all this shit in mm-hmm. the end. In the end, for sure. You, know, you, have to do, you have to take steps to living, though. As we see right now, every day, every day we wake up, we see these these kids. We even see grown motherfuckers. Our age is taking steps to death. You know what I'm saying? Man. You either taking steps to the wealth or you taking steps to death. Mm-hmm. You can't mix it up. You can't mix it up because sure. you're fucking up the frequency and mm-hmm. the signs of the symbols that you send into the universe. Man, talk so, to them niggas. Man. So y'all yeah. be thinking these street niggas don't be knowing shit, yeah, man. Like, y'all got to get y'all mad. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Street right, niggas are coming from where we, we come from. from. We made it this far to the sure. We have to, with it. We had to seek the... We, the first of all, we have to learn how to think different because... If you want to make it outside the box, you have to think outside, outside the, the box. box. It's too many people inside the box still thinking inside the box. But if you want to be outside the box, it starts with the thinking first. Mm-hmm. Not all the hustling that you're doing inside that box, guess what you're doing? You're putting yourself deeper into the box yep. if you ain't got a plan to yep. make it out the box. You know what I'm saying? You know what you know. So, yeah, with that, uh, I can ask you now, shit. If you can make that one song, bro, that's going to be a hit forever... You can dig them motherfuckers up or whatever. What would that feature be? I got to give it to Jeezy for the simple fact that it shouldn't be hard for us to relate to what we, with the message that we're trying to send out to the exactly. world because we both felt the same pain, you know, the same way he felt about me and, um, and um, uh, Southwest T. Yeah. I felt the same way about Bleak, Shorty yeah. Low, and So Icy, you know sure. what I'm saying? We, sure. We dealing with millionaires too, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I, of course, I wasn't a millionaire because I was there for a different purpose, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. But I didn't have to. Down. I didn't have to want for anything. You know on what the team. With me, it was never about the money. I grew up with no family, so mm-hmm. I'm here for y'all. I'm not mm-hmm. here for the money. So you know that, that brotherly structure, that structure, yeah. like yeah, just so. give you some a sense of like, man, it's that love, like yeah. experience is real love. Yeah, so man. yeah, for sure. When it's real love, it's priceless. So. You know what I'm saying? I was, I I leave one house with this guy and count two hundred thousand, and then go to this house and count like three hundred thousand. Mm-hmm. And I ain't got a hundred thousand to my name, but I know how to wait my turn. For you sure. know what I'm saying? Man, it's a question set up in here for you, man, and I I kind of know your answer, but um, before we get to that, with the rap, what you think you gonna bring to the rap game? Do you think you're going to bring something different or, or are you just plan on adding on to something that you, you like? Oh, no, make? everything about me different. Like, everything. You know what I'm saying? The way I move, the way I think, the way I act. Like, I'm going to have... It's different going to bring different. You know what I'm saying? I'm like... I'm giving you... I'm trying to show a motherfucker how to take what they consider losses and turn mm-hmm. it into wins. Yes. Because if you stood tall through it all, it's it's a lesson. It's something... You know what I'm saying? It's, it's something you learn lost. from... And you could teach the next person. You know what I'm saying? So we never lose. We just learn. Mm-hmm. So, yeah, yeah, I'm going to teach them how to learn from their mistakes and how to learn from everybody else's mistakes around mm-hmm. with that. And, and you know, my saying for everybody is, man, a great man always deserves a great woman, man. So that leads me to my next question that the people told me to ask before <laughs> you uh, came on here. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they, oh, that they, question go get answered. You know, I, if I didn't ask you, they think I'm playing favoritism. So... You know the ladies want to know um, what's what's Tilly's relationship status. <laughs> That's how they coming. <laughs> we got sitting on this. <laughs> yeah, we cool. Know. Uh, um, you know what I'm saying. You know I'm gonna keep it all the way funky with y'all because I I, I jump right in the relationship after doing 
all that time. Mm -hmm. And me and the other person knew that that was a no-no because I needed to find myself first, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? But I knew this is who I wanted. So now we dealing with the things that I warned that we was gonna deal with before, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And it's like, we had, it's like a decision I'm gonna have to make. I'm gonna have to be in this relationship and, and, and settle for what the relationship got for me exactly. or I had to step away from the relationship and accomplish my goals. What you trying to go exactly. But the it's relationship is so tight to the it's I just had a child with her, so I'm about family. Mm. So we mm -hmm. we together if we not together. Yep. So that's my status right now. We for sure. If we not together, you gotta, so. For sure. I like that. That's the status, man. Uh -huh. They together if they not together. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Sure. Don't try to make them say shit else. Yeah, that's what do. it is, Joe. <laughs> So, uh, it's part of the show, man. I like to call. Before I even get to that, man, because I've been rambling off, man. You know, I be trying to let my man V get his shit off. I be just going, yeah. man. V, you got some questions for my brody, man. Well, uh, most likely, you know, just really uh, what you like um, about the game. Like, when we bro was just pity patting off with Gator, was just saying, like, about the bring it to the game part. Like showing these, like just like, cause rappers is the same. It's a brotherhood. You know what I'm saying? The rap game a brotherhood too. Even though you, you might don't know it, people don't know it or not, cause you around, sure. you gonna be me saying, you know, here and there. It's all like, you know, it's a community. Exactly. Basically, you know what I'm saying. So, to that community, to like the rap community, like, like what you bring and what you what you think you, they should know, like, you know what I'm saying? It's like coming in the game. Like, you know what I'm saying On man time Like man I you know get you I get you For sure Like what What, I, what, what we I, can learn What they can learn from You feel The bigger picture For sure <laughs> And we'll sum it all up In one <laughs> One listen The bigger picture Like For sure One way or another I'm gonna try to wake up As many as people As I could To you know To get them To get them out of that stage To where they Think that it's all about Their name and it's all about their game. Mm -hmm. Nah, it's about the color of your skin for real. Mm -hmm. Once you finally wake up that, and you see that this shit designed for us to it's lose designed. everybody. Like and it's designed always. in every way, <clears throat> shape, form, or fashion. And then when you finally do win, you become a threat to so many people that you don't even realize. You, that's why you so many great men is gone right now because once you realize you a threat, you no have potential. to move. Think, on the court, act, sleep for sure. Like you a threat, you know what I'm saying? People let their guards down once they get yes, you know, sign a certain amount of money, mm -hmm. certain amount of power. Yes, right? you, know, that you know what I'm saying? When you a threat, my nigga, you got the every day, all day. I'm a threat. Pity you know patting on what you saying. Your boy Jeezy just said that in um in the um joint with Nia alone. That's what I was gonna ask. Did you he watch that? that? Did you watch that interview? Yeah. Oh man, he see, said Farrakhan called him. Mm -hmm. Told him like call called, called him like him yeah, yeah. you gonna have to watch it. You like you made it basically like it's a different kind of people. You gonna open be up on a new door, yeah, 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 yeah. man. You gotta watch it. And, and he say he told him, and he was like he ain't understand it until he thought it. Like yeah, it's gonna be some different type of people on you. You know what I'm saying? Like yeah. you gotta be tightened up now. On the real, that yeah. When, yeah. when they say tighten up, and they 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 mean. All the way tight. All the way tight. It ain't even about who you is when these cameras on, when everybody watching. It's about who you is when the cameras is off oh, and nobody sure. knows what's going on. Yeah. Too, man. That's for what's sure. going. That's what's going to bounce back off to the to the frequency to the universe or the person that you are off camera, mm -hmm. not what, who you are on camera. And they're gonna find out the person you are off camera. And it gotta match the oh, same yeah. person you is on camera. I always or, say that shit, man. But that's their goal, though. That's their goal, though. Once you make it to where you make it, their goal is to make everybody else think that you a fraud. Yeah, they so goal is to make. Yeah. They goal is to take everything that you build and that's bring it, that bitch man. right down within the snap of a finger. You know? Though. You know? They want to show you that that shit you work hard for, nigga. I could take that way like that. You know what I'm saying? That's why you have to build generational wealth, put power behind that shit, and move the right way to where can't nobody take it away from you. Because hey, sure. bro, on some real shit, man, you going to do something. <laughs> 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 I'm not saying, you, you going to do yeah. something, bro. Your mind, bro, man, you it'll know be that. a terrible thing to lose your mind back to that man. system and shit again. Right, a lot of people that. need you, bro, on some For real sure. I know you got kids, too, though. But it's a lot of niggas, man. I feel like you got some of the keys to say these streets, for man. Sure. Just off talking to you, bro. That shit. Appreciate that, man. That shit deep, bro, for yeah. sure. Bro, highly intelligent, it's, man. And 
and highly favored. It's gonna work, you know. For sure. Way. That's the thing, though. But, that shit mm-hmm. you putting in the universe, bro. That shit got to quadruple down because it's it's so effective just off the sound of it. You know what I'm saying? One thing you gotta know is you gotta know how to limit everything. You gotta know how to master falling back. Like even when you know you got so much knowledge and you have to feed it to as many as people as you can, you gotta know how to win. A, when not to feed it too. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Sometimes you're not prepared to to make new enemies. Sometimes you're not prepared to <laughs> for the enemies that's that's waiting on you. Like mm-hmm. one thing that I can't protect myself from, you can't protect your fr- from, from. You can't protect your fr- self from is unseen danger. Man. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. That's I pray for that every day and every night because unseen for danger sure. is not really too much of your past catching up with you. It's just shit that you know, that comes with. The territory of being who you is. For sure. You make new enemies with every word that you speak. You know what I'm saying? Because a lot of people don't want you to be the person to give that message. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. For and, sure. And, and I think you need to set one of these motherfuckers up. Man, it, I you swear to God. Bro, hundred people told me I feel that, like man. it don't run out. I feel like you got, you got, I, I got I what they to, need to I, see, man. I had to let you bless me in for first sure. for me for to sure. get the feeling of this shit because... And we can start a chain of this sure shit because, bro, you, you, you hollering that shit today. I ain't going to lie, man. Jay. <laughs> I ain't going to lie. I wanted to get another question about, like, you got something else? Like no no go I got you know I got so but um like um with the with the with the youth that's out here like you know running wild doing things like um and ain't knowing the consequences of what's going on out here like you know what I'm saying it's the consequences of your actions you do something it's gonna be a repercussion for it either you know going through these jails like you know standing tall standing firm on your name yeah like you know what I'm saying like. What what you would tell them like what you would get to them like you know what I'm saying because your name is all you got you know what I'm saying and yeah, these guys right. messing their names these up these guys they, they don't understand <coughs> they understand that, that a name is all you got like when you when you pass away what's on your tombstone <laughs> your name you know Facts. what I'm saying if you came in this bitch with it and you gonna leave with it life is all about your intro and your outro hey there yeah, you go everything is really about your intro and your when you meet a person. Your first impression and your last impression is what you leave on them and with a memory of knowing you. So, you know what I'm saying? My thing is, it really got to be in your heart already. For though. sure. But really, for a sure. lot of people can be Brought it to that tits, A yeah. lot of people can be <laughs> you know, to schooled that. on Yeah, because a lot of motherfuckers don't on. know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. A lot of people don't. Like, mm-hmm. a lot of people that just teach. got tricked out of... Like Gunner, he got tricked for real. He didn't know. You know what I'm saying? What he I think doing. he got tricked for sure. I didn't look at show. it like that at first. I'm gonna admit that. But I see, I could see that. You know man, what I'm saying? Man, he got tricked. Like, a person that had never been in this situation and can't respond the way they supposed to respond because this is new to them. They they, they they run around like a chicken with their head cut off. It's two different type of people though. He got a selfish motherfucker that's gonna cover their ass before it's gonna be your ass before them any day. Mm-hmm. That's a different type of person. But you got a person that's Oblivious to what's really going on, and if that the way they'll trick you, and they trick you, they can beat you. They'll try to tell you like, listen, you ain't getting down on nobody. You you just telling on yourself. And whoa, whoa, whoa. the moment you open up your mouth, you going against all codes of uh, silence. The moment because they tell you in the law that not only will it can be used against you, it <laughs> will be used. used against you if you don't catch that in the gate. Then you, you deserve whatever that they got in store for you because they give you a fair warning. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can't end with you was get from that moment on. You before you finish your sentence, huh? let me get my lawyer. Yeah, let me, yeah, let me be quiet. Then but niggas be trying to find a way out of shit. Mm-hmm. And they know. Never, 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 <coughs> never think about Not knowing the, the moment you answer one question. There you go. You're putting yourself deeper in the hole. There you go. They coming with what they got already. For sure. You know what I'm saying. Maybe it might not be nothing, but if you give them something, nice. you made it something. Yep. You know what and I'm saying? But if you give them nothing, that. you might they might not end. Nothing with nothing equals nothing. Nothing, <laughs> <laughs> nothing with a little bit of something. <laughs> they might come out with a little bit of God, something. Good, good. You know what I'm saying? Real. So we did. Our, my, my message to the youth is really is to uh, just stand tall through yeah. it all because it's gonna get ugly. Before it get beautiful For sure It's gonna be hard Before it get easy For sure and, and, and my period on that is 
or just don't do the shit. Yeah, they, they, yeah, that too. Don't do the shit. They, they made sidewalks for coming a reason. out making y'all think this telling shit cool and all that. Mm-hmm. A lot of motherfuckers don't make it to go hide. For sure. You know what I'm saying? Sure. You only want to put your people in that type of situation. For you know sure. what I'm saying? For sure. Cause they don't understand the chain reaction behind that. You you taking another motherfucker from their family, you Man. putting your family, your whole family in jeopardy. jeopardy. For sure. Sure. You might have made it out, but listen, like I said, a selfish motherfucker ain't gonna. And they ain't think gonna that think that far for they sure. Think that far. It's about them, right? Don't there, care. Man. They don't think about none of that. That's the why. kids at school, whatever, calling you, all the dead it is, or anything. You know, people teasing your kids about this stuff. Every it's that's, a lot come with that. That's why you I don't know what deal with no petty individuals. Cause that's a sign A selfish petty motherfucker That's a sign of a nigga That's gonna tell on you mm-hmm. You gonna fold before anything For sure mm-hmm. I only fuck with a certain amount of people I can't even count on one hand And sure. that's a fact too for sure. That's for sure V V one of them motherfuckers for sure. I've been fucking with V Since I met V Man. You know what I'm saying And he just been V You know what I'm saying I just been me For and sure We know where we stand We know what we stand for yeah. So I ain't gotta talk to V for six months he ain't one of them niggas so real like, man, man, He ain't call, call me, me on like, here like, mm-hmm. Or I ask V to post something And you ain't post my shit Like that That's That's that that's competition us. shit man. Yeah. man the cloth yeah, is a enough. real thing <laughs> Man And I, I, I like I like that man Even though I don't want to ask you your age, man, but I feel you like you. I, I, how old are you? I'm a kilo, thirty six. Yeah. Right, made, so you two years younger break. than me. You know what I'm saying? But your knowledge tell me you seventy. You know what I'm saying? It, man, it ain't about it ain't about what you're saying. It's about what I know you will absorb. Sure, man, absorb. Shut. I mean, sure. what I know you'll absorb and kick back out, bro. Like the way you learned it and how you know it in your head, bro, is amazing to me. It's super fascinating. I think you can sit in a room full of preachers and help them understand sure. how to help in the community, <laughs> anything, wherever they put you, you at, bro. I just feel like definitely. the way you break that shit, that's like a cold rapper. You yeah, know what I'm saying? Like, I hear Gates and them and the way they put them Metaphor, words and shit yeah, to get yeah, together, bro. Yeah. That's why I'm dying to hear your new music, man. But uh-huh. I don't consider myself as a rapper, though. What I you say? I consider myself as an artist. Uh-huh. You know what I'm saying? Uh, Arthur? Yeah. Okay. I'm, Arthur. Really, I'm the Arthur. You threw me narrator. too, I thought you was going to say some cliche shit like artist, but no, I'm yeah. saying an Arthur. I'm, I'm, okay. art, I'm not an artist, I'm an Arthur. Okay. Because I'm I'm a narrator, I'm an Arthur of my life, my real life experience, my outcome, my vision. You know what I'm saying? I'm not I'm not here to rap on beats and make it sound See, good for exactly. you to bounce your ass to. I'm not. That's not me. I'm here to tell my story so when I'm gone, my, my story, story can still be told, it can sure. still live yeah. on. You know what I'm saying? And you gonna learn something from me telling my story. Yeah, but coming from where I come, where we come from, you gonna learn something. A lot of people don't understand that music play a big part in <laughs> the black culture. For sure. You know what I'm saying? And the higher powers knows the certain shit they want in our culture and what they don't. Yeah. The type of shit that I bring is gonna go through a battle. It's gonna go they through the stages. To it's gonna take the slow steps because it's gonna be some shit that can save some lives instead mm-hmm. of helping you take some lives. And that's what they want. They want the revenue. They want more cases, gun cases, murder cases, all that. They want that mm-hmm. because it keeps that, the business. That's sure. what it's all about at the end of the day. It's I, not I, I need, a dollar. I need to ask y'all something about that. So everybody go to jail and get a certain amount of money, right? Oh yeah, mm-hmm. like a like a bed space. Like you worth thirty thousand dollars. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So look, yeah. my question money. is: How long will they keep you? Uh-huh. You leave jail when you come back. That's another. Yes. Yeah. Damn. Every time, they, they, Every time you leave, they can make a hundred thousand off you in, in a year just off you going to jail three times. You need to check on the Thirteenth Amendment. It's okay. on Netflix. Damn. Check it out. It's thir- It's called they break Thirteen. All that down. It's cold. It's cold. And to, to see the entities. What the. That's into the jails, and they so crazy because I just ate some Wendy's. Like they are entity into the jail. It's uh, so many. So like, many people got their money tied hey up jails bro. because they know that's what the, the thing is. This and a white man told me this. He was a preacher too. Like like he was like I wouldn't say a preacher, a motivational speaker too. Sure. But he one of those motivational speakers that got his shit on a piece of paper and have the same speech every time. Okay. I was one of the ones who had something just different every out, time I sure. come. Just it's natural for you, bro. Yeah. You might it's be like one of the top. only people in the world to do this shit, though. Like, I don't want top. you to yeah. feel like I'm pulling your coattail, bro. I'm just really into motherfuckers that know how no, to I know it's express themselves, mm-hmm. though. You I know, know what I'm saying? Genuine, man, this shit ain't just no normal, everyday shit. So, when oh. a person. Yeah, this part of the show, man, we like to call a morale check, man. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to shoot you some, uh, some questions. You just give me your direct answer. Uh, 
Money or power? Oh, you already know power so, over money. Why? So, because um, power can, you know, take you places that money can't take you. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? And money is not everything to everybody. You know what I'm saying? It's something to people that ain't got it. But what you going to do with with money with people that got money? What, what else can you bring to the table? With? If you're in a room full of motherfuckers with money and you just got some money, what else could you bring to the table if you ain't got no respect with it? Like A mm-hmm. nigga with money with no respect, you just a walking lick. You a nigga mm-hmm. I can take something from every mm-hmm. time I feel like I'm short on something. Yep. You know what I'm saying? But a nigga with respect, a, a nigga know what type of nigga you is. They know, like... For sure. And what's you can get some shit that? done that money can't even get For done. For sure. You know what I'm saying? So, so that's my next question when you speak on that. Uh, cloud or respect? Uh, you already know respect. Respect is, is something that's real. That stuff's going to last forever. Cloud, that shit... Here today and gone tomorrow, or the next motherfucker. Yep. Shit, a good old bag of dope, ain't it, man? Yep. Yeah. Being rich or peace. Now, I gotta say this because we had a, a situation where somebody misunderstood what I was saying. I ain't saying you broke because you choose I know, peace. I know exactly what you mean. And people don't understand is that you have to enjoy the peaceful moments that you have in life as long as you have it because the moment you become rich, that peaceful shit is over with. You know what I'm saying? Hmm. Because you can never really Ooh. fully trust no one around you no more. Hmm. You don't know if the Man, love is real, real the um, the intentions is genuine. You don't know nothing because everybody know that you have what everybody want. So, and Man, you got to question it every Man, motherfucker you know? that comes a part of you. You know what I'm saying? And if you have to question a motherfucker, you don't need no parts of them. <clears throat> you know what I'm saying? So, it's going to be, your peace gone once that rich comes. So mm-hmm. people hard. ask for shit, be careful what you ask for because you just might get it. Mm-hmm. And you just got to mm-hmm. be ready for it. You, you got to be ready to sacrifice your peace for the for the riches. For the riches because it's you know definitely I mean? coming. Yeah. It definitely, that, that peace right. definitely going to be gone. All right. So so we pick peace. So um, this was the question I said was going to line up for you later on when you told me it was counting money with all the, yeah. you know, all the, the millionaires. Uh do you consider yourself a great leader or a great mm-hmm. follower? Uh, I'm for sure a great leader. I never even started one day of being a follower. I came right in as a leader. When 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 I first even started hustling, I told the, the, the nigga who block it was, I can't I can't even um, work no packs. You know what I'm saying? I run the joint. I got somewhere to put the shit at. Mm-hmm. I came right in with the red carpet. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. He already, I wouldn't even how you do that anyway, shorty. I see how you move. You different from everybody else. Mm-hmm. And I was the last one in my household to even hustle. I was one of the niggas who said I would never hustle. I would never sell drugs. Mm-hmm. I would never game bang. Mm-hmm. But the way life has twists and turns, turns it, yeah. I come home from school one day, the couch was on the front porch. You know what I'm saying? The whole family had to move to another state and told me I couldn't come because I wasn't really blood. Mm-hmm. No, that was the day that shit really got real for damn, me. Damn, this was, was the foster home. Yeah, I was 13 years old. Yeah, it, it came to At that moment, life really got real for me because my only fear ever being growing up, I was only scared of two things. I ain't going to even lie to you. I was scared of clowns. It the clown. Yeah, that yeah, was me dead, scared me of clowns. Too, yeah, that's great. <laughs> no bullshit. That and bad then, dreams. And another thing I was scared of is I was scared of man, everybody. Man, I used to have bad dreams that. about that stuff. It's being homeless. That was that. That's like, crazy. I was scared damn, to be one of those people. Damn, I just damn said I love you, Joe. You got like a real <laughs> similar type of... For sure, You a bro. real scared, nigga, bro, for I, sure, man. They going to call me a fan. It's cool, y'all. I'm a fan of real shit, man. That's just what I be on. what it is. We ain't doing no shit because we straight forward everything. Like, That's what it is. It's just bro. that, you know, I, I was scared Man, to be one of those people with that sign up saying I need something to eat. You know what I'm saying? I just, like, I even, growing up, I even, I rake leaves for some money. For I sure. shovel snow for some money. I pump gas yeah, for some yeah. money. I did whatever it took before I ever had to ask somebody, like, you know what I'm saying, to do something for me. That boy ain't a hustle lot of You know what I'm saying? That showed me how to respond to shit when shit get real. I know how to adapt to any situation. You know what I'm saying? And that's what I want to teach my kids. For sure. And I ain't going to lie. I know you're a great leader, right? But off your stories, it showed me you was a great follower oh, as good. well. Mm-hmm. Like a nigga behind. Like if I was a rich nigga, a nigga like you behind me would make me feel like. Yeah. 
Yeah. We so. gonna take over all this shit like the world. We gonna mm-hmm. be on some Larry Hoover shit though, mm-hmm. like on mm-hmm. some you know. We're taking it over. That's 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 a real shit, man. But yeah, I'm gonna leave that alone. I'm, sure. I'm gonna uh, <laughs> ask you something else. I be asking motherfuckers, man, because it's it's a real thing for me. <laughs> you and your man on a case, man. Yeah. Let's just say a murder case or something. Yeah. And they trying to see whose it is. He dies. He's a car crash. You know what I'm saying? Y'all bonded out. He in a car crash. You go back to court. Do you say he did that? You don't say shit. You just you just let the shit play oh out God. the way it's going to play out. Like, when you fight a murder, I'm going to tell you like this. You don't look for family. You don't look for friends. You don't look for nobody. You look for God. Yes, you know what I'm saying? I was in this situation. I'm not, you know what I'm saying? I'm speaking from experience. Mm-hmm. My family gave up on me. It was the only, only thing I had was the book. And I read I read it from the beginning to the end. And it was like I was there to get the message. You know what I'm saying? And by the grace of God, you know, I went through the trials and tribulations. And I was found innocent. And I made it home. And, you know, I got away from Learn the people. From that. I got away from the people who I... I sacrificed my whole life, like, protecting, like, and they gave up on me. They just felt that I was guilty before the people even felt that I was mm-hmm. guilty. You know what I'm now, I'm only asking that because I'm trying to see if I'm a snitch. So you saying if you own the case, though. Yes. And your homie died. He died. Now, this your man who always makes sure you was good. Yes. He going to make sure you good no matter what. Yes. He died. Yeah. You don't say he did that. Because I no. think I'm a snitch, bro. I don't know. To no, what for me personally, I, I mean, everybody is entitled to their own personal pain when mm-hmm. it comes to this, mm-hmm. you know, putting the heat off on a person that's dead. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Or not. Me personally, I, I mean, wh- what you do is what you do. Mm-hmm. Me personally, I feel like a person here or alive has the right to face their accuser. That's why people don't, a lot of the youth don't know that when they speak on the death, and they taunt the deaf and glorify the deaf. You're gonna go. You're gonna Ooh, have a conversation with that, that person man. because law is law. You know, you hear or not? Universe. When you have a dead person name in your mouth all the time, that's mean you have a conversation that you need to have with them. <laughs> so sooner or later, you're, you're gonna, gonna be right there from the center mm-hmm. table to table having that conversation with them. So me personally, I wouldn't put nothing on a person that's dead that I wouldn't even put on them in my life. You know what I'm saying? I'll take the weight for a nigga alive like I'll take the weight for a nigga that's dead. Like I don't that's look for money. no easy way out. That's no way. I hear you. No You're way out. You're a cold man, Joe. No I hear you. Shout out to my nigga Charles, man. You know, I had a motherfucker. I had a couple motherfuckers that did some time for me, but Charles did the longest, man. Shout out to my nigga, but... um. I don't know. I just feel like my niggas love me to death. And I'm like, if I die, man, put that shit all in my dead backpack. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's, Lay that's, that shit mm-hmm. on me. You know what I'm yeah. saying? It's like, different it's when different another person, you when, when your homie tell when you know your homie, homie yeah. better than I know your homie, mm-hmm. whether any motherfucking homie, you know what your homie will tell you mm-hmm. and what your homie won't tell you. Yeah. See, a lot of niggas be talking about my homie would tell me to do this. Now, your homie, some of your homies would tell you. Tell them the same thing Motherfucker told Rollo Nah homie mm-hmm. You gotta take your lick You mm-hmm. gotta You know what I'm saying Show mm-hmm. me that you Still gonna be the man You yes. is Why yep. I'm sure. here yep. As when I'm gone for sure. So I like because that too It depends on who it is yeah. I like yeah. that like, it, it depends, depends on, on who it is, it is. I fuck with niggas that be switching sure. it up and lying Yeah, yeah. Cause you dealing with a selfish motherfucker. You know your homie was a selfish ass nigga. He would never gonna want you right. to put nothing on him. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you know, you know this nigga self. No mind. If he's selfish, he's alive, selfish he's ass he's might have got it anyway. But he's 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 dead. Look, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Y'all gotta break that down for me. Cause I said I was gonna go watch this shit. Look at this shit. Yeah. I didn't get a chance to, bro. Cause I gotta get this sixteen out, my man. But uh, what the fuck is Rollo on? Like did he he flat out told on somebody? No. Like what That's was he what? tricked? Like Gunner or? This is what people don't. Yeah, he was tricked like Gunner too. Sure, yeah. yeah, yeah, he was tricked like Gunner. Them people gonna try to come trick you regardless. You gotta look for the trick bag. It's gonna you come. You gotta it know it's to coming everybody. though. It came to me too. You gotta you know. know what I'm it's gonna come. They gonna. It came to me too. When like, you come, they coming. They too. came to me. I'm locked up for guns. They talking to me about a murder. They well, they try to come talk to me about a murder. They, my lawyer. Do you know they send your lawyer? What they gonna talk to you about? That's if you got a public defender because I didn't pay my lawyer 
you know, twenty thousand for me to go sit. So I, mean, I I went with the public defender for the first time ever. Mm -hmm. Out of all the cases that I caught, I went with the public defender, and he came to me like, yeah, they came to me. They they saying that they think that you have knowledge about a murder or whatever. They think they ain't saying that you was there, but they think I'm like, sir, I'm here for guns and guns <laughs> only. I don't know <laughs> nothing about shit. About. You know, what I'm <laughs> they testing weapons. All they test the weapons for a murder. My gun, my guns was matching the shooting where three people were shot. Oh shit! And that got me four extra years. I wouldn't have been gone that long. Uh -huh. It's just that. Because you had a 922G? Yeah. yeah. Me being the person that, and 922G is just uh, in, in federal yeah, cases, just know, weapons. I, I had a 924 It goes up by the uh -huh. amount of weapons. I only had three weapons. But if it would have been four, it would have been a couple more well, years. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. he's niggas, like, lawyers in this bitch. <laughs> yeah, you have to sit down. Like It's a book yeah. called Busted by the Feds. Yeah, you know, Once you read it. that uh -huh. book, you don't really know what they can and can't Didn't do, do to you. Like, yeah. I'm going to tell you one incident that I knew that I put it in one of my raps too that he's in the video too uh, I went to Vegas for the first time ever going out I've been to 20 states since I've been home but I went to Vegas for the first time in 13 before I ever went anywhere and I was with this young lady and she told me I could smoke weed on the script I didn't know that if I could or not and I'm smoking the yellow hats coming up to me. I hurry up and you know stepped on that bitch. They cuffed me up trying to figure out where I, where my room at. Give them a sent off room, whatever. But I know in the back of my mind I can't lie about my name because I'm out on bond. If I lie about my name, they probably give me obstruction just and give me a case out here. Mm -hmm. So I get my right name. But I know once they run your name and you fighting the case with DEA, bam, you finna hit the database. Mm -hmm. and they finna know exactly mm -hmm. where you at. Mm -hmm. And you got to know a trap coming. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? You playing with the... And you was you know, out of town. I was in on, Vegas. On parole or something? Probation. I was on the bond. On bond. You know what I'm saying? So you can't go out of town on bond? No, nah, not really. No, nah, you got If they check. think you're a drug dealer, they're going to think you're doing... Drug business, you know, mm -hmm. going out of town. Me personally, mm -hmm. I never went nowhere. So mm -hmm. first thing first, they gonna think I'm trying to some drugs. You oh. definitely can't get your name. So police talk. They run my name. Woo, let me go. But they had the flyer showing the lady read the flyer. They come with a limousine to take you to the strip club. They knew it's where I was going and everything. I get to the strip club. I get this man. She sitting down. She getting a lap dance. You know, I sat down. Got a lap dance first. She sitting down getting a lap dance now. Two guys, they dressed up like, you know how the Harrison and Kizzy police officers be with the baseball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They in the strip club. They, just the like they fresh yeah, out of yeah, Harrison and Kizzy. <laughs> <laughs> like they working the joint. White motherfuckers, they they working the joint about, like that. Yeah, they, 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 they joint. walk right up to me. You know this nigga police. What, you know, the nigga walk up right up to me like, hey, yo, my guy. My guy, man, he got a lot. He said he got a lot of um, cash in this for me. If I can find somebody to help me get off the white girl, you got anybody in mind? <laughs> uh, man, they came to me too, rookie yeah, out. Too he rookie. Girl. He too rookie. rookie out because you didn't ask me my name, where I'm from, or none of that. Yeah. You go right off into the drug to shit. To the drug you know shit. I tell you, baby girl, I say, sir, I don't know what the fuck you talking about. I have no <laughs> yeah, idea yeah. what you talking about. Hey, baby girl, let's ride. She, what? We just got here. Let's go now. Yeah, yeah. I, swear to I God. put her up on game. Uh huh. But when, I knew that it won't be long before they come get me because knowing yeah, the fact they, they got like something, this. Uh -huh. they think is what they got ain't enough for them. You exactly. Know what I'm it might be a lot to you, but it ain't nothing. They trying to bury you. Uh -huh. They trying to send you somewhere to die. No yeah. chance it's possible for you. Yes, but that that shit called entrapment. Entrapment. Same what I got. Yeah, what I got caught on. That some means they got a shit. case waiting for you already. You just got chose. So all I had to do was say yeah. And it was over with. That was mm -hmm. a I, They would have charged me with trying to buy a kilo uh, from a uh, yeah. kilo or whatever from the federal undercover, all that shit. But Just for saying, yeah. That's why I put it in my lyrics. Uh, they trying to get me to buy that shit. Tell them to catch me in traffic. That That's in traffic. Tell the feds they better catch me in traffic. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Basically, because... I knew my phone was tapping everything. I told a little chick, like, man, my phone might be tapped, might be going away for a while. I'm on investigation for something. Just to let them know I'm hip. To the script. Did when you so, did you um when you heard Buffalo um when, did you have your CDs did you have CDs like was you on audio and yeah shit? all that they had all that like, shit uh, they, they 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 went to all my jail calls when I was oh in they the give you the shit hell yeah. yeah you get everything they got against you hey unless they got some how, power punch they how that shit man like we because when I I know when I when I um uh, used my CDs and shit or whatever like when I'm listening to them it just made me feel so like like. Stupid motherfucker. Yeah, it woke you up because like, like damn. me personally, you know, when I was talking the way I was talking on the phone, I I, I didn't give a fuck about nothing. Yeah, I you know, know how I'm going, I'm going. I'm just mad that but, but it happened the way it happened. Like, the story I was telling you, these motherfuckers ain't listen to me. I told them throw the pipe down the wall. Uh -huh. 
I'm already know I'm finna take the weight for all three of these pipes. Oh, they had that shit on the recording? Yeah, like, you know, my mama asking me what happened on the on jail oh, call. I'm, I'm speaking in code and yeah, shit like that. Yeah, but they still, yeah, recording Fuck that, that part. They try to get me on some drugs. Like, like I'm still conducting business on the county phone. On the county phone. Because they knew I was saying something to a certain person, but they didn't know what I was saying. They didn't know what we was doing. Nothing. And they come to me with it. When they came and got me out the crib that day, I had already got everything out the crib. I gave somebody the, the, the woo ops. I gave somebody the woo op in the cash. And they, what happened, man? I'm like, that just don't feel right. I just mm -hmm. feel like something ain't right. Sure, just get everything away from me right oh, now. Oh, my life. Four hours later. Yeah. FBI opened the door. Damn. And I already knew y'all was coming. Knew y'all was coming. For y'all. Open this bitch up. Open that bitch she up. But I didn't know how to tell the girl that I was with that you going out of town right now. I won't be here when you get back. Exactly. That's what I was trying to tell her. And we had a big fight. She didn't understand until it happened. Until it happened. You know what I'm saying? But I knew. Man, I ain't going to lie, man. I could go on and on, man. But my boy definitely, definitely going to be back on this show. For sure, for sure. With new music and some, some more. New stories. We going to chop it up a little bit more I'm about gonna that, too. I'm going to hear before y'all anyway, though, because I got to know it. But sure. you know what I'm saying? Tilly, get them people your, BDF. uh, get them people your, um, Instagram again, you know what I'm saying? That's B I G D A W G T I L L Y underscore B D F. If y'all know what B D F stand for, mm -hmm. it stands for Big Dog, Dog Family. Family. You know what I'm saying? Sure. That shit, that shit goes a long way. That shit Every real groups, or gangs, whatever you think on the West Side of Chicago got some B D F in their DNA. For sure. I don't fuck who you think they is, who for you sure. think they ain't is. We we man, we, we trend setting yeah, that shit for yeah, sure. Yeah, was a part of this shit. Part man, of that. Some, uh, some them, them members, if you really let to know, man, that's that's the tribe. We all come from different tribes, but you know that what it is. There, mm -hmm. like we pushing, BDF. they're pushing that money. Big dog family for real. We ain't no gang. We ain't no nothing. We just a bunch of. If you Getting a nigga that take niggas. care of your family, you can work a job, my for nigga. Sure. You a nigga that stand on business, you pay them rent, you pay them bills, and your kids on you a big dog at for the end sure. of the day. For sure. Not because you got a nice car, jewelry on, and you got, you got a stomach bitches. like this. That yeah, ain't going to qualify ain't, all the time man, just because, you know what I'm saying? You stand on business. It's, that's, that's, principles, morals, integrity. That's what makes you a big dog. On that. What's in your heart? That's it. For so sure. listen, man, we got my boy VZ Mob ENT. For sure. Tilly, man, we're going to get back at y'all again. But before y'all get out of here, my man going to live 16. Stay down till you come up. Keep that pistol on your hip in case these fuck niggas try to run up. My bitch bad, she ain't done up. My whip fast, 200 on the dash, C12 do donuts. We in traffic with these choppers, see her up and it's going to go up. Lately, I've been telling with the time to pop, no, I'm going to show up. Tell you niggas posing with all these glocks, but ain't gonna blow nothing. I just bought a pint of water, whop it, time to pull up. We was steady taking shit, them old heads ain't one in front of us. My first drive, I let off 30 on the mongers with the stunner. Never claiming body, do it hit and swear it one up. Slide the SRTs with AIPs, pussy to the sun up. Four nigga with a switch, with a drum on that bitch. I survived five wars, I had fun with the shit. I saw a nigga for talking crazy, I saw a nigga for trying to rob me in Chicago. I play defense like my name was Dennis Rob. I'm really the realest in this shit Need to start paying homage Fought my case with DEA and FBI and be the hum And I travel millionaires My position was the prop We got fat all in the blender Selling dope up out of apartment Stay down till you come up Keep that pistol on your hip In case these fuck niggas try to run up My bitch bad, she ain't done up My whip fast, who ain't on the dash C12 do donuts we in traffic with these choppers, see her op and it's gon' go up Lately I been chillin' with time to pop, now I'm gon' show up Tell you niggas posin' with all these glocks, but ain't gon' blow nothing. I just bought a pint of water, whop, it's time to pull up